<laughs> and uh, I told him I got briefcases after briefcases. I can get a sermon like that, but you can't always depend on that. You got to depend on the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 So, if you have your Bible, Psalm, Psalm chapter 37, verse 3. Amen. And I'm so glad to be in this house. Amen. I'm glad to be here. Enjoy the message this morning. Well, yes. that just spurred my soul up. Are you prepared? Amen. Amen. Good to see you, Brother Patrick. Amen. God bless you. I wish I had his pretty right white teeth like you, brother. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Good to see you, brother. Amen. God is so good. But Amen. Amen. Father, we ask your Lord that you just anoint us, Lord, as we minister your word tonight. God, I ask your Lord that you just give me strength. God, as I deliver your word, God, with great anointing, God, I thank you, God, for new hope, for gospel. God, I thank you for these people, God. We ask your Lord that you just bless this service, God, and give me the anointing, God, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. God has been good, hasn't he? Amen. Has he been good to you? Amen. amen. Psalms 37, chapter... Uh, Chapter 37, verse 3, it says, Trust in the Lord and do good. Yeah. So ye shall dwell in the land, and verily ye shall be fed. Amen. It says, Trust in the Lord. Sometimes when we face circumstances and we look at the circumstances and we think, You know what? How? That's hard. And can I really trust? Him. Amen. A few days ago, or a couple weeks ago, I preached on uh, a mighty good friend, and I had friends, amen, that I thought they were my friends, and I put trust in them, and they broke my trust. But the word said tonight to trust in the Lord. Yes, amen. amen. Trust in the Lord. Well, brother, if you don't know what I'm facing, you don't know what the doctor said, you don't know what my bank account said. Well, some of y'all's bank account probably looks pretty good after you got your stimulus check. <laughs> Amen. I ain't got mine yet. Amen. Mine should be here Wednesday, so I'm not going out back Wednesday night. <laughs> no. But you know what? You don't know what my bank account said. You don't know what the mortgage people have been saying. No, I don't know, but I do know that we can trust in the yes, Lord. Yes, Amen. Yes. I do know that I can put my confidence in the Lord. Yes. Amen. I have, like I, I said the other night, I've had friends that they were friends, but then I've had friends that I can call at any given time, and they're always there. But I, I have that other friend, and he's the Lord. Yes. Amen.
I'm going to refer you to a surgeon. I said, okay. So I trusted in that doctor to give me what good news, and she broke my trust. She did not give me good news. I didn't like what she had to say. But you know what? I have my what trust in him that he's going to take care of everything. So, Linda, tonight when I'm upset and I get to worrying, tell me what did you preach on, Brick? You preached on trusting in the Lord. Just don't only partly trust him. You know what? It's easy to trust God when the bills are paid. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's easy to trust God when you when all the your utilities are paid and your car payments running good. It's easy to trust God, amen, when you got a good banking account, amen, you get your stimulus check or on your on your debit card. It's easy to trust God. But hey, how easy is it to trust God when you're looking for money for that next meal? Yeah. Come on. The Bible says trust in Him. Trust and I've learned as a child that I had to learn to trust in Him. Just don't only partly trust in Him. Yeah. Delight yourself also in the Lord and He shall give you the desire yes. of yes. your heart. Amen. Thank God He gives us the desires of our heart. But first we have to trust in Him. Yes. If we do not trust him, he would not give us the desire of our, of our heart. Right. But I knew that one day, and then I, I went through a battle and I would, I, I knew that one day when I, when my first marriage broke up, I knew that God was going to send me a wonderful lady because I trusted in God and Amen. I delighted in Him and He gave me a precious lady. Amen. Because I put my trust yeah. in God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And he said that he would give you the desires of your heart. I told God what I want in a wife. I told God. I said, I want a wife that will that will support me in ministry. I want a wife that plays the piano and sing. I want a wife that keeps a clean house and, and feeds me well. I got all of them. Thank God. Huh, baby? She takes care of me. But you know what? I put my trust in Him. I delighted myself in Him. But first Bible says, commit your way unto the Lord. And it says, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. First you have to commit. Sometimes it's, it's hard to commit ourselves. You know, sometimes we don't want to make a commitment. Huh? Sometimes we don't want to make commitments, do we? Well, uh, Brother Rick, would you preach for me tomorrow night? Well, I could have said, well, I don't know. I don't know. No, I had to commit. I had to make a commitment to you. Yes, I will. But sometimes God wants us to commit our ways unto him. And then if we commit ourselves to him and we, we place our trust in him, he said he would give you desires of your heart. How many have desires that you have? Sure. That yeah, you yeah. want. You want God that, you know, I know some of your desires and we just keep praising. I know them. I know I'm what they are. Yeah. And we're going to keep praying. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> we're going to keep praying. God blesses you for what you're looking for. Amen. Amen. He blessed me. He can bless you, brother. Amen. Amen. But trust in him. And he said he would give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Amen. Trust in in him. Yeah. Amen. Delight yourself also in him, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Commit yourself unto the Lord, and he will bring it to pass. Yes. Yes. Verse 7 is the one that I just do it all the time. It says, Rest in the Lord. Amen. Amen. This way, Linda, not this way. <laughs> this way. Rest. In the oh, Lord. Oh, yes. Rest in the and Lord. And wait patiently. Yes. Amen. There's one thing that I hate doing is I hate waiting for. <laughs> I am not patient at all. Especially if I'm driving down the road and you got some idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> some crazy person that's driving down the road and then they should know they should be able to make a right turn on a red light. But they just sitting there just like in La La Land. And I'm like, Come on, you stupid idiot. 
Preach it. Uh, <laughs> He said, 
go to your calendar. He said, mark on there from this day to three years later, mark on that day where you're going to die. He says, I want to see you in church. I want to see you in a casket three years later. If you're going to believe what that doctor's saying, if you're going to believe the report of the doctor and not trust God, I don't want to see you. Well, that's that, that struck a chord in her heart. Did she not live three years? Yes, she lived 23 years longer yeah. because she trusted in God. She put her confidence in God. And after that, she after after she her heart started doing a little bit better. Amen. And and she she said, you know what? God has called me to a mission field. She ended up serving in. Uh, as an Indian missionary in San Fernando, Mexico for about four years because that was the, the desire of her heart because she trusted in God. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Lord. But you know what? If she would have took the report of the doctor, you know, if we take the report, you know, you can, you can choose to live or die. I really believe that. I, I had a, 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 a pastor, a pastor friend. She was a pastor. She was a Sunday school teacher, and she got cancer, and she she just said, "I'm dying." Instead of just you know believing God was going to heal her, within three months she was dead. She did not ask for healing. She in three months she was dead. You know what, church? I want to tell you, if you allow the enemy to play with your mind. If, if she would have focused on what the doctor, if my mom would have focused on what the doctor said and let the enemy play with her mind and not trusted in God, within three years she would have been dead. Yeah. But church, we have to learn to trust in him. Sister yeah. Edna, God's going to take care of you tomorrow. Yeah. You got stage four cancer. But you know what? You know where you're at tonight? You're here tonight yeah. trusting God. Yeah. I'm trusting in the Lord that yeah. when A, a biopsy or whatever they're going to do, they're going to say, hmm, something must have happened. It looks like something happened. Yeah. 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 We prayed for her. Yeah. 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 Because God is able to do exceedingly abundantly yeah. above all that we ask yeah. 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 if we trust yeah. in Him. Yeah. 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 That's the biggest little word. If. Yeah. That's it. That changes yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. If. Mom, can we go to Baskin Robbins after church tonight? I used to ask Mom. She said, yes, if you be good. <laughs> so I had to learn to be good if I wanted ice cream after church. You know what? There's conditions. Trust in the Lord. And he said, then I will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Amen. Rest in him. Yes. Amen. The last few minutes of my mom's life, she had to have a colonoscopy bag put on. She was actually having, you know, see, the devil placed this in my mind the other day. She was having the problems she, that I'm having right now, and I'm thinking, devil, you're a liar. We have to take, we have to block the enemy from our, mom, from our mind because she was bleeding internally. And my mom said, you know what? I'm not going to die until the Lord wants me to go. Amen. Amen. You want no doctor can tell me, no doctor can say, you know, hey, you're you got three years, you got five years, you got six months, but it's my time to go, I'm gonna go. So after many surgeries, she said, they tell me I may not make it, but she said, either way, I win. Amen. Church, either way, you win. Yeah. Either yeah. you either got to get help me here. Because the night before, me and Hannah, we took my mom a John's Burger. She was wanting a hamburger. Mm -hmm. you know, I went to John's Burger and better a hamburger. Man, it, it looked good. <laughs> you know, 
mama, she said, she'd eat it. She said, mmm, this is so good. Of course, my mom, no wonder she had heart problems. She loved eating hamburgers that greased just a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> grease, you know, just, just you know, when, when we'd have chicken, we would have grease and chicken. You know, I said, chicken potato is grease and chicken, you know. <laughs> and, and so she was saying, mmm, this is so good. This is so good. I did not know the next morning she was going to pass away. So, but I felt led. And so I I walked up there. I mean, I called up there and they said, well, if you want to come up and see your mom, come on up. I didn't think much of it, but when I got there, I, I looked at mom and they had the they had her head down and her feet up in the air. I'm thinking, what's going on there? Why are they doing that? Well, they're trying to get the blood, you know, uh, get her blood pressure up. And uh, I thought, what's going on? And mom looked at me and she said, I'm not going to make this one. She said, I'm not going to make this one. And I had to say, it's okay. Amen. You can go ahead. It's okay. She kept waiting, waiting, waiting until my pastors got there. And I said, Mom, it's okay to go. And so they, they said, well, let us put her on life support. And I, I debated, and I thought, you know what? I can, I can talk. They said, we can get her, we can put her on life support. We can raise her blood pressure up, give her medication, raise her blood pressure up. And I almost said, go ahead and do it. By that time, Brother Ferguson came in. He said, no, no. He said, you knew. You know your mom would not want that. So we, we chose not to do that. But in a minute, she was in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because she put her trust in God. That's right. She said, I'm not going to make this one. She right. said, and, and uh, she finally made her place. No, we didn't have just a funeral. We had church. <laughs> we did sing Heaven Jubilee. Sister McMahon saying, ain't no bread. Gonna hold my body now. I'm gonna smack my heart. She'd get up there and sing, Ain't no grave, gonna hold my body now. And she'd sing that mom home going to service. Church, I want to tell you, Mom had her trust in God. She had her confidence in God. Because either way, she didn't lose her battle, she won her battle. Amen. Whatever you're facing tonight, if you put your trust in God, and then you're just gonna remind me tomorrow, Rick. What did you preach last night? Amen. Either way, Rick, you put your trust in God. Rest in God. God's going to take care of it. Amen. 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 Trust in Him. Let the peace of God. And yeah, the doctor told me that more or less like put a death sentence on me the other day. And I let that, I, I let fear grip my heart. But I cannot allow fear. You know that there's a new song, Fear is a Liar. We don't yeah. sing that here. But you know what? Fear is a liar. It's from the devil. Yeah. Amen. I, but my mama, is, you know, if you're, you talk a lot about your dad and his ministry. I talk, you're going to find out. I talk a lot about my mom. Mom has always said that, I, that God always adds and multiplies, and the devil subtracts and divides. Remember yeah. that. Amen. God always adds and multiplies, and the devil subtracts and divides. So when the devil starts putting things in your mind, they start, hey, taking, take authority over the devil. You have that authority. In Luke 10 and 19, it says, Behold, I give you power over evil things. Amen. You can tread upon serpents. You can do all these things. I'm not talking about we need to be a snake at the church. No. 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 Years ago, my mom went in and started to hold a revival. And she walked in and, and everybody walked into church in these suitcases. She's like, she told the pastor, she said, why do we, everybody got suitcases coming to church? She was thinking maybe they was going to go camping or something. She, she said, no, wait. Wait till church starts. So she waited in church. So she's going she's to start revival. She's in Chicago, Illinois. She's going to start revival. Church service started. Song service started. These people started opening up their suitcases. Well, they pulled out their snakes. I tell you, they, 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 they were crazy. Mom looked at her. She looked at the pastor. As far as I'm concerned, this revival is over now. I'm gone. I'm not going to be in no snake handling church. Amen. 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 I mean, never been in a snake.
snake handling church. Now, how many wants to be a snake handling church? Come on, why not, church? I'd love to see Miranda get all wrapped up in the snake. <laughs> if you really trust God, you might you. <laughs> Church, he's so alive. 
Aren't you glad we serve a God that's not dead? Yes. Are you sure? Aren't you glad we serve a God that's still alive today? Amen. 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 Like the rose trampling on the ground, and He took the fall. I was thinking about that when we were singing that. How many ever seen roses whenever they they start falling off the rose buds, start falling off the the vines, and they you know sometimes if you're not watching, you'll step on them and all that. I was thinking that looks like Jesus, like a rose trampled on the ground. He took the fall, but as he fell, he followed me. Yes. Aren't you glad he thinks of us? Amen. Even to all of our little hang-ups and all of our goof ups. Amen. Even, even so, we'll, we'll get up here and we'll preach on how much we need to trust in God. And we get at home and we're thinking, oh, man, what's going on here? Church, I want to tell you, rest in Him. Trust in Him. And I want to tell you, I do desire your prayers. I do. I do. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to tell you, Brother William. I'm not going to tell you that, that I, I'm not nervous. You know? I'm not going to tell you that, you know, I'm, I'm ready to die. I don't want to die. I'm 52 years old. I want to, I want, I want to see. I'm not going to I'm a lot younger than you, Sister Mary. I mean, I, I want to see my, my new baby that's in the, in the oven coming. But I do desire your prayers. I'm expecting a good report from the doctor. Not from Dr. Wilson, but from Dr. Jesus. Hey Amen. The one that's not going to charge me a $15 code pay when I go to Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Come on, Pastor. Thank you. Love you, church. Amen. 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 Let's all stand tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me enjoy that word tonight. Amen. 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 Why don't I? Uh, Landon, can you can you come to the drums tonight?